What's up guys, it's MX Style, this is how it's going down. In this episode we'll be doing a bit of Bitcoin news and price analysis as well, talking about up and coming stories that I've read. So yeah, let's get into the video. So just to start off, um, looking at the, the chart for the Bitcoin here, we we saw a price spike, I think yesterday or the day before that, and I was hoping you know, to sort of see the support at the R1 resistance, but we did fall through that. And my theory is that it's whales, but who knows um also looking at the chart here there there has been a long-term sort of resistance line here which dates back all the way to 2017 this isn't available on the chart so this is as far as it goes and for demonstration purposes this is how far i will go but as you can see here there is you know a crossover between our support and our our resistance line here and this would hopefully potentially be around mid-june so around this date we could either potentially see a drop and then a spike up or just a spike up um, oftentimes the bit bitcoin doesn't actually play out the whole pattern and what can break up before that so we'll have to just stay tuned um, if you're a trader then you would have probably got in on this spike price spike here and could have taken a you, you know your first profit here and then your second take profit at the r2 resistance um i personally did not make any trade at all as i was not sure what was going to happen and i've just been holding in so i haven't lost any money i haven't gained any money um so yeah that's that's my plan going forward i'm probably going to wait for a price spot not price spike, a price dip if it can get to around 9200 again then i will definitely put some more money in because we're all about buying that dip guys um, but anyway, that's enough about Bitcoin. Just have to let it do its thing. It's probably going to trade sideways for a while. But this is not financial advice. This is just my personal opinion. So I wanted to get to the first part of this this episode, and it's that the blue dot for the stock to flow model has actually been displayed. And historically, we've seen that once a blue dot has been shown on the chart, that the price has gone up exponentially in the next following months to a couple of years and as you can see here we've got our first blue dot so i'm hoping that the bitcoin price will go up and my whole thing pays off because these are crazy times that we're living in guys these central banks are printing money and basically bailing out millionaires and all the all the uh, hard workers and you know entrepreneurs and small business owners they're struggling they're having their businesses being destroyed by protesters and, and, and rioters and Nothing, nothing's really gonna change, guys. So you have to empower yourself economically before you wanna, you know, see change. Um, anyway, so what am I going to say now? So basically, I came across this article saying that China have actually they're implementing their own cryptocurrency, and this this is actually very, very. Uh, it's a bit worrying actually for for Bitcoin because you don't know, like uh, essentially. The, UK, the US government, they have control over the whole world. Uh, all debt is, is in US dollars and that's how they, they bully people. They, they're bullying Venezuela. They've been trying to uh, put, put a 5 million hit on the um, the cryptocurrency. Hold on, let me just bring it up. Control shift T. Yeah, so as it says here, Venezuela, they put a 5 million bounty for the superintendent of the cryptocurrency. In a nutshell, basically what he did is he created a cryptocurrency which enabled them to pay for assets like oil. And from there, um, they, they've called it Petro. So they've been using that cryptocurrency to pay for oil. And the US have seen this as money laundering and they're claiming that they're backing um, you know, drug dealers and whatnot. Personally, I don't agree with the American government. They bullied bullied and bullied all these small third world countries the same as the uk government and they're just looking to exploit them um, there's there's no there's no winning for these third world countries because the us they control everything so that's why we need crypto and this leads on to the second point with china the who have always been ahead of the the packs china japan that side of the world they've always been ahead of the pack and they're actually creating their own cryptocurrency so it says here people in china are no strangers to digital payments if anything it's easier to move around and shop in shanghai and beijing with alipay or wechat to pay a smartphone app um, than it is bearing a pocketbook filled with yuan notes i hope i said that correctly now the chinese government has began to pilot a program for an individual dig digital version of its current uh, of its currency uh, with the likelihood of bigger tests at beijing winter olympics 2022 with observers 
um, sorry, some observers think that the virtual yuan could bolster the government's power over the country's financial system and one day maybe even shift the global balance of economic influence. So would that be a good thing for the world or a bad thing for the world? Um, well, currently with the trade wars going on between China and the US, it may ease up some restrictions on uh, importing and, and things like that. But I just, I, I think that, you know, America, they have way too much control. Uh, if, if that power is to be spread out across different countries and different entities, then we could potentially see the betterment of, of you know, of human society and, and human nature. No more would the rich be just profiting. Hopefully there'll be a more inclusive society and everyone would be able to, you know, make money. That's why I'm such a big backer of, of crypto. Um, it says here that, you know, one of the things the authorities have been careful about is that the digital currency does not start crowding out other forms of money such as bank deposits and banks need those deposits to extend as credit to borrowers. The system could potentially be, be complete with China's most successful tech giants, Alibaba Group Holdings and Ten cent holdings, uh, which back Alipay and WeChat, respectively. So this is very, very, very interesting news for crypto. Um, please leave a comment below telling me what you think. And yeah, if you found any value from this video, make sure you hit the like button and you also subscribe. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. So yeah, all support is appreciated, and I'll see you soon for another video, guys. All right, bye.